My name is Dr. Sonia Rowley and I'm originally from the UK, but I'm here at the University of Hawaii. I study Gorgonian sea fans. These are octocorals, which are different to the scleractinians, the hard corals that we're used to hearing about. The Gorgonians, they create animal forests and you find them from the shallow waters all the way down to the deep sea. They're hugely intricate and they're massively diverse. It's never a dull moment. I'm always discovering something new. When I'm actually diving in these environments and I see the Gorgonians, I feel extremely excited. If I see species I'm familiar with, it's like seeing a celebrity. Like, and, and then if I see things that I haven't seen before, then if I'm diving with people, they hear me squeal like a child, uh, which with helium uh, sounds amazing. And uh, we all laugh a lot, but I just feel just fantastic. It's just very, very excited. And I just can't wait to learn more. So the use of scanning electron microscopy is critical really, it gives us a high resolution image of this animal being different to another one. This is a very powerful tool. We can then really, really get into the structures of the Gorgonians, their sclerites, those skeletal elements that make up all the small parts of the animal and differences in the skeletal elements really tells me whether this is likely a new species. Primnoids are a family of Gorgonians that I'm very excited about. Their sclerites are so ornate that I can then run experiments on them using biodegradable dye to see how the animal is manipulating the water flow through its shape differences. And so that is where natural selection is working to maximise the flow, to maximise the food into its mouth. I see things as loads of add-ons. My head is like spaghetti in that regard because I get very excited about species that are up to cool stuff and I can tease that apart. So it's important to discover new species of Gorgonians, one for biodiversity measures in order to protect these environments that are under great threat, but also to be able to determine how they've evolved over ecological time and over geological time. Discovery of a new species is energizing for the public. It's exciting. It brings the marine sciences into the news in a very enticing way, in particular for young people. It's important here at University of Hawaii at Manoa because of our host culture, the native Hawaiian culture and more broadly the Polynesian culture, knowledge of, of the ocean and navigation and ocean conservation, how that all ties into the human presence. And so developing a deeper understanding of that environment is really entirely in alignment with our host culture in which we cannot separate humans from our physical environment and so having a better understanding of that physical environment is very, very important. There are many ways that my research has actually impacted conservation. When I was in Micronesia, it was in 2015, and I was showing the local communities just some raw footage and I saw immediately that the chief saw the footage was completely blown away by it and then decided that where those dives were were now protected and not going to be fished anymore. Now that to me is conservation in action and that then ricocheted onto other areas of Ponape and I was able to share the research, share the data, often not sharing the language, just sharing the footage and the images. So that's where the Gorgonians have the most power really. To taxonomy, the Ocean Census program is critically important. Taxonomy is not always valued as much as it should be, really, because we do need to know what these species are. The future of conservation in the mesophotic environments 
heavily relies on the species numbers that we discover and that we're able to disseminate, that we're able to communicate in a whole variety of ways. So you have that discovery of species, what Ocean Census is all about and my research, but also being able to share it on multiple platforms. People are not going to protect something they can't see.